Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Parasite Eve 2. I am your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode 10. Now, when last we left off, we acquired the Jerry Can as well as the Holy Water Attachment item. We are good to go. So, next thing we're going to do here... We are going to go and get the gas for Mr. Douglas. And then I'm going to go north and clean out the junkyard. But it's the last hot zone before we give Mr. Douglas the gas. Plus, I have an inkling feeling. For some reason, I feel like I'm going to lose that hot zone if I, if I don't... Uh, I'd feel better if I cleared it out first. So, yeah. As someone asked in the previous video, why do I need to plan how I swing through hot zones? The reason being is I have a bad habit of doubling back constantly and missing things. It's personally an annoying habit of mine. Like, for example, if I need to get from here to the garage, I might take the most direct route, but then I might realize, oh wait, I missed an enemy in room one. Gotta go back for it. I go back and do it, and then I make my way back to the garage. Oh wait, there was an enemy in the general store I forgot to go kill because it was an ambush and it wasn't listed. Go back, kill the enemy in the general store. Where instead, it would be, oh wait, there's an enemy in the general store in room one. So after I get the gas, I'll swing through the general store, come back, go to room one, come back, go up to the delivery, go up through the driveway to the garage. I just have a habit of missing things, and I don't want you guys to be all like, oh god, how could you swing through and miss all that stuff again? I just want to get it in the right order, that's all. That's the map button. The map button will not get you gasoline. The jerry can will. And now it's gasoline. Which is ironic. We have gasoline and no car to use it on. Alright. Northward we go. <laughs> Nothing exciting to say. Sorry. Now, it should be known that there are three endings in the game. The normal ending, the true ending, and the sad ending. And we're coming up to a point in the game where a variation will occur, which can help us go from the normal path to the true path, or stay on the normal path. Now, I am planning a little something. I have let it slip before that there are multiple modes in this game, and I do plan on doing playthroughs of almost all of them. There is one mode that I am not going to touch because it looks frightening. What I'm going to do is on this playthrough, the normal game playthrough, we're just going to go for the normal ending. On the next playthrough, a little something called Bounty Mode, we'll actually go for the true ending because Bounty Mode is my favorite mode. The mode after that is called Scavenger Mode. That's going to be particularly hard area. It's going to be very, very difficult, so I'm going to go for the sad ending, and to get the sad ending, again, spoilers, there will be an opportunity very soon, uh, when we get to the shelter, there will be an opportunity to return to Dryfield for an optional segment. If I want to get the sad ending, I don't go back to Dryfield. Simple as that. And then when we do what's called a replay mode, which is more of a for shits and giggles, look at all the stuff I unlocked mode, I don't know what uh, what kind of ending I'll go for there, but normal ending first, then true ending, then sad ending, then probably true ending again. Ambush? Ambush. Wow, you're, you're really clever, dude. I'll hide right in front of her. She won't know I'm here. Moron. That was definitely worth the effort. Alright, since we can start... Whoa start putting stuff in the truck. We're gonna do just that. 
Firefly rounds. Move them. I don't need them here for now. Our slug. Move them. Don't need them in my inventory for now. Belt pouch. And flare. There, that freed up four spaces, which brings us down to 14. Unless my math scales... Math scales? My math skills failed me again. Okay. Nice. I like that. Now, as the instruction... Or the manual said... Not the manual. As the strategy guide said, it said... You can't buy stuff from Mr. Douglas anymore. Again, as I said in the last video, this is not true. Now, from this point on... We could go straight back to our room and rest, but we're not going to do that. Why? Because there's more enemies to fight, and we like fighting enemies. But before we do any of that, Mr. Douglas, I do need something. I need some more ammunition, if you would be ever so kind. I'd like to fill up... Wow, I used more than I thought. And I think I would feel just a little bit more comfortable with another 12 grenades. Yeah. There, and I'll add those to the pile. Thank you. Now, my part, I get to plan how I'm going to do this. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Okay, figured it out. I'll go into the driveway, drop down into the well, go through the water hole, through the underpass, clear out the cellar, which means I'll probably need to take the flare with me. I'll make sure I grab that. Go up the ladder into the general store, in, clear those two rooms, come back through the general store to the gas station, clear that out. Go through the parking lot, clear out the little bathroom area, go into the GNR saloon, up to the water tower, clean out the area behind the water tower, Go back up the ladder to my room, through my room, clear out the loft, and then we're done. See? Good plan is good. Now before I forget, let me grab the flare. Thank you. Let me think here. Uh, let me move you over. Um, actually, no, 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 I don't want to... There. Now, since I do have the holy water to cut down damage, I might not need to get... What was it? I might not buy the PE ability uh, antibody level 2. I might just get necrosis. But we'll wait and see how much, I, how much experience I have when I'm done with this hunt. Okay, see, I was right to grab the flare. I can't use it in the cellar now, but hey, you know what? I think this worked out a lot better. Well, you know what? Let's do a little bit of math. I know, everyone loves my crazy math skills. This should be pretty easy. In order to get combustion, or I'm sorry, um, necrosis, I need 500 EXP. And to get energy shot, I need 1700. So 1750 plus 500 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I need 2250. If I can get 2250, I need another 1000 experience points. If I can get another 1000, I can get both. That'll work. I'll go with that. Whoa! Haven't seen you in a long time. How you doing, big guy? Kind of an odd place for you to be hanging out, don't you think? Easy experience is easy. Oh, yeah! 300, I'll take it! Protein capsule, protein capsule, protein capsule. Hydro rounds work. I won't argue with hydro rounds.
the game froze for a moment there a little bit. It does that every once in a great while. I don't know why it did that. Wait, this is going to be the hard area, isn't it? Oh, hi. How you do? Way he is from the camera edge. Did I kill him? Wow, this was quicker than I thought. So that's another 300, 400 EXP? Almost 500. Okay, I think I'm gonna get enough between now and then. I really, really think so. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay. Where are you going? Don't run away. I'm your friend. You're giving out bullets. Like candy. Because they are candy. Sort of. Well, that was kind of crappy on the experience trend. Good thing I didn't say go ahead and buy Necrosis. Because I might have gotten robbed. <laughs> so we are rapidly closing in on our goal, and it's looking good. Sorry, I was looking down at my um, pocket watch, and it appeared to have stopped. And I was like, what? Oh, get around the corner. Now through here. Did I grabbed that cola, but I didn't grab the recovery three. I'm going to leave it for when I come back to dry field later. Scavengers. Okay, no, this will work. I don't know how I did it, but I somehow shot him while I was facing a different direction altogether. I don't mind. It was kind of cool. It was just a little unusual. I was expecting to get kicked in the head. <clears throat> oh, darn it, Flem. Let me go. Stop making me clear my throat. You're making me do more editing work, damn it. Okay, easy room is easy. Bang. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way! No, 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 no. <sighs> that was a little too close. Too close, too close. Alright, off we go. Off we go into the wild blue. I need to go to the driveway, don't I? Yes, I do. Another ambush or something else? Wait. If it's desert chasers like I'm suddenly thinking it is, then appearing at the gas station door might be more detrimental to my health. You know what? We're going to find out. Away time. But now you're dead. And now I have more than enough EXP. So heals all around. Yes, please. 
Well, first let's explain it. It uses the magnetic f using the magnetic field generated by mitochondria. It greatly increases bullet velocity, power but powerful but limited duration. The um, explanation changes each time, so we're gonna strengthen it. Improved energy shot increases bullet velocity and alters bullet composition to maximize stopping power. And then to upgrade it further. So what does necrosis do? Mitochondria is focused in the that. Mitochondria focused in the hands release an electrical charge, necrotizing targets. E epidermis. God damn, what is wrong with me today? In short, it's electric poison. This is exactly what it is. It is electric poison. Which in its own right is kinda terrifying. Hey. I'm gonna go drop off those hydro rounds in the in the trunk because I don't need them right now. There they are. Go on, go join your brothers and sisters in the trunk. I got a lot of stuff. I mean, I got a lot of stuff. So we're halfway done, just uh, swing up through there and all that good stuff, and we'll be home free. Home free, I say, I declare. I pronounce, I say. Well, look who it is, it's Flint the Dog. Wait, 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 wait. Do I have to... okay. I thought for some reason I had to clear the rooms, too. But he'll just kind of follow us around, because he likes us. <clears throat> Damn it. Damn it, Desert Chasers again. Probably gonna get knocked around so I would feel better if I had antibody turned on as well. Ow, ow, oh god. Ah, I thought I heard another one. Did did you just... Well, aren't you just a special little boy? He rammed himself into the building twice while I wasn't paying attention. That takes class. That takes pure class and intelligence to do. Okay, another easy room. Hey, you know what will really work really, really, really well? A buttload of fire. I like how fire just goes through the walls. Makes me happy. Game had another one of those moments. This children is an optional scene in which we meet up with Kyle Madigan. What exactly have you been doing, Kyle? You haven't done anything. All you're doing is sitting here drinking. Yes, the one we're going to. Remodel, you say? Fertilizer. 
That is kind of odd, isn't it? Alright, fine. You have been marginally helpful. Marginally, marginally helpful, I should say. If you talk to him again, he'll just be all like, want one? Before we go, though, there is one thing. Turns out this is the only time in the game when you can actually listen to different music using the jukebox. Also, after completing the game and going through it again in clear mode, you'll actually be able to get different music, so it, it changes as you go on. Nice little smooth jazz, I like it. Okay, how about the bargains? Right, that's what we were listening to. Oh, that's what we were listening to at Mist Headquarters. What about lazing away the morning? That is also from uh, Mist Headquarters. You know what? I like Tower Rendezvous. I like that one. <clears throat> Before we move on, though, lols. All right. I would love to stay and listen to more music, but we have more pressing things to worry about, like the NMCs in the back room. I guess you can ignore anything if you have something to drink, if you try hard enough. Okay. Aim up. Look out. Help. Nope. Ah. Fine. Fire for everybody. Wait, you're still... Fire for everybody. Stop making me waste my MP, damn it. How many of you are there? Of course. The last one to die is the one that could have ended the fight with one shot. It's fine. It's fine. Wrong button. You know why it's fine? Because I have MP boosts. There. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, sort that shit out. No footsteps? Ah! I don't know if it'll catch him. Nah, it missed. That hurt, and I did not appreciate it. You caught on something? Yep. Almost done. Bad place for Desert Chaser. Bad place for Desert Chaser. Use the fire, use the fire. Okay, that was... If I had gone through the factory to come around the back, that would have worked out better.
Okay. That's fine. That's okay. I have plenty of MP recovery items and all that good stuff. So I am not worried in the slightest. Clear out the loft, and then we can take a break. The first break we've had since... <sighs> since the Acropolis Tower. Fuck. Ah, damn it on a stick! This is the only time that the Zebra Stalker and the Scavengers will be in the same room together that I'm aware of. You guys are not making this easy. I know that's your job, but... <sighs> okay. Can I upgrade any of my PE abilities with what I have? I don't think so, and there's nothing left to unlock. You know what would have been useful? If I hadn't leveled up Necrosis, or unlocked it. Then I could have gotten back all my MP. Well, that's what I get for not thinking. Sometimes you can't help strategy. I don't want to use the other MP, MP boost too, because I'm kind of good with what I have. So I'll use this one instead, and then I will put the cola here, because cola recovers the same amount of MP and HP no matter what. Now, it's no small surprise, there's a boss fight coming. Why else would I buy a grenade pistol? So now I have 50, whoa no, I have 58 grenades. Now comes the tricky part. See, I want to keep as many recovery items on me as possible. Change it for this. The grenade pistol. And then load it. Actually, we need to do it like that. There, now the M4 is in my inventory. The ammo's off in my item slots. Okay. I think we'll be okay. And for the fight, we've got a ringer solution, which will restore everything. A protein capsule, which will give me more HP. Basic Recovery 2, which will give me how much? 90 as an attachment, that's pretty useful. MP Boost 2, which will give me 100 MP, which is still full. And a Cola, which will give me back all my MP as well. I think I'm about as ready as I can get for this fight. So before we have ourselves a nice little nap, I'm going to call it a video here, folks.